Good morning, second grade. It is Thursday already. Can you believe it? And we are in the new month of April. And yesterday was April Fool's Day, the first day of April. And today is actually my best friend's birthday. It is April 2nd. So the abbreviation for April is APR, make sure uppercase in the period for your abbreviation. And we will write two comma 2020. Four dash two dash 20. All right, now Let's go on to our place value. One, two, three, four ones. Four. And then for tens, I have two groups of ten. Ten, twenty. And I have one flat, so that's ten groups of ten. So our number today is 124. In expanded form, that would look like this. The value of one flat is 100 plus, what's the value of two tens? 20. And then four ones would just be four. 124. Now, the weather today is going to be sort of like yesterday, partly cloudy, but we might get some peaks of sunshine, uh, maybe a little bit warmer too, so we can get some time outside. The season is still that beautiful spring. If you play outside, you might get itchy eyes or a runny nose from spring allergies because some things are starting to bloom. Let's look at the time on this clock. It's a review from yesterday. It says, show quarter after 12. So just like yesterday in our book, they give us the hour hand, the short hand. It's only a tiny bit after the 12. So we know right now that our answer for the hour will be 12. And they want quarter after. So they want it to go after the hour. If this was the o'clock hand, we need to go quarter after. And I said, if we cut this clock into four pieces, each chunk is how many minutes? 15. So let's do one quarter of it. So let's count 15 minutes. Ready? Five, 10, 15. Quarter after 12 would have my long minute hand on the three. And we said that is 5, 10, 15. So quarter after 12 would be written 12, 15. If it's 12, 15 and you are sitting down to eat lunch while you watch my video, for morning meeting. Is that a.m. or p.m. if you're eating lunch? And it's after 12 noon, that would be p.m. And it won't switch to a.m. until after 12 midnight. Okay, we're gonna learn that today in our math books. But before we do that, let's move into money today. Let me erase our expanded slinky form. All right, here we go. So I want to count this amount of money. Let me move you even closer. Oops, there goes my battery charger. Okay, right here I have a $20 bill, and over here I have coins. What kind of coins? Well, I know that one right there. Penny, penny, easily spent, copper, brown, and worth one cent. Ooh, what else do I have here? What are these two? This is a front and a back of a dime. Dime, dime, little and thin. I remember your worth 10. Ooh, 
Ooh, these are big and bold. I have three of these big and bold quarters. Quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth 25, I am told. Is this a quarter here? Does this look the same? Does it have the eagle on the back? No, this is a nickel, 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 thick and fat. You're worth five cents. I know that. So what do Mrs. Writings teach you with coins? We start with the coin that's worth the most. Sorry for the puppy. You can probably hear her barking, but that's okay. So let's start with our quarters. Three quarters. Well, I know four of them would make a dollar, but I have three. So let's count them. 25. You should be saying it out loud. 50. 75. Now what coin would come next that's worth? Dime. So 25, 50, 75. Group of 10 up. If I have 75, I have a 75 and I count up a group of 10, a dime, 85. And then that other dime would make 95. Okay, let me put my 100 chart back up. One second, I can't, there we go. So 25, 50, 75, 85, 95. Let's go to the nickel. Oh, that makes a dollar. A hundred cents. And then this would make a hundred and one cents. Well, what do I do now? If I have 101 cents, and we know 100 cents makes a dollar, that's like taking these coins and trading them for a dollar. I'm taking away 100 cents, and that would leave me with one cent. So I'm going to trade these guys. I'm going to go to the bank, leave my penny over here, because I only need 100 cents, and I'm going to trade it for a dollar. Hey, I went to the bank and I traded my 100 cents, my three quarters, two dimes and one nickel, I traded it for a dollar. Is that in fair and even change? Yeah, just like in our storybooks this week, the word is exchange. Those hundred cents can be an exchange for a dollar bill. I didn't get any more or any less. I just switched it to a dollar. So, now let's count what we have that I switched those coins over for a dollar bill. $21 and one cent. Zero one when you're writing cents. $21 and one cent. Good work. All right, let's get moving, and we are going to go right on to our math. So what I need from you is to get your Go Math book. And if you think you'll need it, you can get your clock, okay? I've been putting my clock right in the page on my book so I have my spot for the next day. All right, friends. So let's go ahead and take a look in our math book. Um, to start today, let me present here. Um, 
here we go. We're going to be on page 528. 528, if you need to pause to get to that page, that's fine. I'm just zooming into the top of page 528. Today we're talking about AM and PM. So when we switch the time between AM and PM, a lot of times we think AM in the morning and PM we think nighttime. But noon and midnight is when it switches, that 12 o'clock point. So 12 noon, like when you would be eating lunch, is in the daytime. Midnight, midnight is 12 o'clock at night. Okay, it happens while you're sleeping. Times after midnight and before noon are written with a.m. So 11 a.m. is in the morning. That's right, that's after midnight, but it happens before noon, before lunchtime. So it's a.m. Times after 12 noon when you would be eating lunch at 12 noon, anything after that, until midnight is p.m. So if you're in bed at 11 p.m. and you're sleeping, that's the evening. It wouldn't switch to a.m. until midnight. So to start us off, <laughs> I found this video and I thought it was pretty funny. I love the puppet guy. So it's a short one, it's only a minute, but it talks about a.m. and p.m. Hello, Dr. TikTok here. You ever notice how you wake up in the a.m. and go to bed in the p.m.? Well, that's because a.m. means in the morning, before 12 noon. P.m. means afternoon or night. Just ask the man in the moon. And he'll tell you that midnight means it's dark outside. Noon is lunchtime and the divide between a.m. And PM. AM and PM are initials that stand for ante meridium and post meridium. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? These are Latin words that mean before midday and after midday, which is why AM means in the morning, before 12 noon. PM means afternoon or night. Just ask the man in the moon, and he'll tell you that midnight means it's dark outside. Noon is lunchtime, and the goodbye between AM. And PM, this has been Dr. TikTok. Bye bye for now. So, as you can see, AM and PM, that 12 o'clock point, when it, when it is 12 noon, it switches over to PM. But then after we hit 12 midnight, it's AM all the way until we get to 12 again at noon. Then it switches back to p.m. Okay, so let's look at our books. We're going to be talking about a.m. and p.m. Hi, Crystal. Um, let me present. Okay. Um, so here we are. Let's look down here at number one, two, three, and four. So it says write the time and then circle a.m. or p.m. So if we look here, guys, we have number one says eat breakfast. Okay, and now we're going to look. They told us it's 7.15. The hour hands only a little after seven, so go with the hour before, seven, and then it's Quarter after 15 minutes has passed, 7.15. And if you're eating breakfast, this is before noon time, so it would be a.m. Okay? Number two, if you're going to art class, you're going to art class. So they show us here. They show us. Right there is our hour hand. It's between one and two. So what hour comes before? One. So you would put one, double dot. I wonder if I can write, add a note. How do I add a note? Well, let me, 
<laughs> I wonder if I can write right on the page. Ooh, here we go. So number two, let's see if I can make that any bigger. Nope. All right, number two, we said is one, let me move it over. And now let's count our, let's count our minutes. Are we ready? This is not working out very well. Okay, well then I'm just gonna have to write it down later, but. Okay, so what I'll do, it's okay. I'll use this clock. You can follow in your book. Number two has the hour hand a little bit after the one. And then the minute hand is on the eight. So let's count this. Are we ready? We know it's the one o'clock hour because it comes before. Now, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Now it's 140 in number two, but is it a.m. or p.m.? If you're going to art class, is it after 12 midnight, which would be a.m., or is it after 12 noon? It would be after 12 noon, and after noon is p.m. Okay, that's a great way to do this, guys, is to ask yourself, well, is that that time after midnight or is it the time after noon? If it's after midnight, it's a.m. If it's after noon, it's p.m. Let's look at number three. Do your homework. All right, so our hour hand is a little bit after the four, kind of halfway there, and then straight down on the six. So let's look at our hour hand. If it's between the four and five, what comes before four? And when it's half past, we say 30. Now, do you do your homework in after midnight, which is a.m., or do you do your homework after 12 noon has passed, which is p.m.? P.m., yes. You have done the lunchtime at noon, and then you, your day keeps going, you go home from school, and then you start doing your homework, p.m. Let's look at number four. Number four, you arrive at school. You arrive at school and it has our hour hand between the eight and the nine and our minute hand is on the five. So if we are between eight and nine, what hour comes before? What one's less? Eight. And now let's count our minutes. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's 825 and it says you're arriving at school. You're arriving at school. So is that after? Midnight and before noon, or is it afternoon before midnight? It's a.m. because you were sleeping at midnight when it turned to a.m. and then you wake up and go to school, so it's still a.m. It's not yet noon, so it's a.m. when you go to school, okay? All right.
right, you are going to work on numbers five, six, seven, and eight on the next page, page 529. What I want you to do is pause the video now, work on five, six, seven, eight. Don't do nine. We'll watch math on the spot for nine. Um, and when you unpause, I will have the answers up for us to check our work, okay? All right. Okay, boys and girls, so you should be back. Um, you should have finished 5, 6, 7, and 8 on page 529. And let's go ahead and look at this. It's the same direction, writing the time digitally and then circling a.m. or p.m. So number five said, go to the library. The time was 2.50. So when you go to the library, are you going after 12 noon? which is p.m., or are you going after 12 midnight, which is a.m.? Yeah, you go in the afternoon during daytime, so it would be p.m. Number six, go to science class. So you wake up, you go to school, and you're heading to science class at 10.30. Is this before noon or afternoon? Yeah, it's before noon, it's in the morning, so that would be a.m., okay? Number seven, eating lunch. Ooh, this one's super tricky because I said, think about when you eat lunch as switching to p.m. However, the time on the clock for number seven was 11.45. That did not hit 12 noon yet. We're 15 minutes before noon. So this would still be a.m. Once it hit 12 noon, that's when it switches to p.m. Okay. Number eight, if you are looking at the moon and it's 8.15 in the evening, it did not hit midnight yet. It's just nighttime. So this would be p.m., 8.15 p.m. at night when the moon comes out, okay? Now, I said we can do math on the spot video. So let's go ahead and take a look. It says use the times on the list to complete the story. So we have Don goes to school at blank. His class went to the library at blank and after school Dawn read a book at blank. So let's go ahead and watch our math on the spot. Today we're going to learn about the time. Oh, good, because I've been getting the order of my jokes all wrong this morning. <laughs> really? That's, that seems unlike you. You usually are a great joke teller. Yeah, I know. I keep forgetting which part comes first. The, sometimes I tell the second part of the joke first, and then I tell the first part. And, uh, professor! Professor, listen to me, buddy. Yes. Now, I know in your book it has 1015, but here it shows 1050. 
It has 3.20 in your book p.m., but here it has 3.05 p.m. And then it has 8.30 a.m. in your book, but on my screen it shows 8.15 a.m. They are still showing if it's a.m. or p.m., and they still have the correct hours. They have 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 a.m. So you can just copy either what you see on the screen, or you can use your answers in the book. I'm okay with either because you're still in the right hour and the right a.m. or p.m., okay? So if you want to cross them out in your book and change them like we do sometimes in class, that's fine. This is the time to list in the story to make the story complete. So check it out. Don got to school at blank time. Then his class went to the library at blank time. And after school, Don read a book at blank time. That's a lot of blank time. That's a lot of blank time. <laughs> That's, see, your jokes are already coming back. I'm working on now, it. Now, here we have to do. We have, there are three options. We have 10.50 a.m., 3.05 p.m., uh, and 8.15 a.m. No. We have to figure out which time makes sense for each of the three parts of the story. Now, here's the important thing, Joey. It's important to remember that times after midnight but before noon, they're written as a.m. So the a.m.s are... Uh, after midnight and before noon. Okay. And if we have times that are afternoon but before midnight, the other part of the day, yeah. we could write them as p.m. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's think about this and see if we can make sense. Now, when I look at this, I think to myself, you know what? If it's after school, it's going to be late in the day, isn't it? That's very true. And now the first the first time is 10.50 a.m., so that's in the morning sometime, mm -hmm. and 8.15 a.m., that's the morning. So I really believe that this second one is actually going to be the one that goes way down here because it's in the afternoon. And that let's would just, make sense. Let's just see what that looks like visually. So visually, here is that time. Here is 3.05. And you can see you do not have the to hour write the hand clocks, is, guys. is just past the three. And the minute hand is pointing exactly to one, which if we count by five, so it's five. five. That's right. So this is 3.05. So that looks good to me. Okay, uh -huh. now we have to make a choice about 10.50 a.m. versus 8.15 a.m. Well, which do you think is earlier in the day, the 10.50 a.m. or the 8.15 a.m.? Uh, well, 8, 8, 8, 15. Yeah, 8, 9, 10, yeah, yep. 8. Exactly right, which yeah. means he did this first. So, obviously, yeah, Don got to school there. first before his class went to the library. So, obviously, the 8.15, which, by the way, looks like this... So here's 8.15. Oh, that yep, because the hour hand is, is just past the 8, and you see that the minute hand, the long one, is actually at 5, 10, 15. Right, right. Okay, so we're going to put that right here. That's how he started his day at 8.15, and that leaves that his class went to the library at 10.50 a.m., and let's see what that looks like. That looks like this. So notice that the hour hand is between the 10 and 11. It's almost at 11 because it's almost 11 o'clock. Yes. And we see that the, the the minute hand is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 after 10 o'clock. And that's what this says, 10.50 a.m. 10.50 a.m. And so there you have it. We know exactly what Don did. The story is Don got to school at 8.15 a.m. His class went to the library at 10.50 a.m. And after school, Don read a book at 3.05 p.m. And that's it, Joey. Yep. Ah, uh, that was great. You know, I think I have my joke timing kind of sorted out now, too. Oh, wait. Okay, let me hear. <laughs> what did the clock do when it finished its dinner? I don't know. What did the clock do after it finished its dinner? It had seconds. <laughs> You're back. The, the Joey See, it's because you helped. <laughs> have fun with math. We'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for math today. Go eat a snack, take a break, and I will see you back here for video number two, our language arts video. Just so you know, you'll need these books for today. You will need your handwriting. You'll need your spelling. You'll need your vocab, your English, and then you'll also need your phonics, okay? 
I know it looks like a lot of books, but we won't do too, 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 too much. I promise. All right. See you back here. Bye. Bye.